Dear students, welcome to Theory of Machine Lab. Under the Theory of Machine Lab, under the Dynamics of Machine Lab, we are going to perform one experiment that is called gyroscopic experiment, gyroscope for free and forced vibration. This is the experimental setup. This is the experimental setup. So, in this experimental setup, we will perform the experiments. The objective of the experiment is to investigate the gyroscopic inertia, precision and verification of the formula for external torque or moment. In addition, it will be shown that inertia, precision and external moments are in manually perpendicular plane. So, this is the objective of the experiment. So, before that, we need to know what is gyroscope, how it works. So, experimentally, we will show you how gyroscopic force and gyroscopic couple works we will perform the experiments before the experiments i will explain about the instruments we are going to use so this is our instrument and instruments this is the rotor this rotor will continuously it will spin and this is one mass so this mass can be placed through this spindle a different different length we will measure at which length we will put this mass measure by measuring tap or scale we will measure distance from this this edge this edge to some specific length suppose 25 mm 50 mm 100 mm like that so after putting this mass circular mass at some specific length then we will do the experiments by putting this cover putting this PMMA cover perspex sheet cover then we will set some parameters precision speed gyroscopic precision speed and rotor speed rotor speed means at what rpm rotor will rotate that is called rotor speed rotor will spin and along with the rotor spinning whole assembly this assembly will also rotate we can rotate it clockwise and anti-clockwise and while rotating some unbalancing will happen so we need to set precision speed and rotor speed such a way so that while rotating this couple will get balance and it will uniformly in balanced condition this will keep rotating to understand gyroscopic effect a body can be considered which rotates about its axis of symmetry it will be found to offer a resistance to any sense in the direction of the axis of rotation this is gyroscopic effect a gyroscope is an instrument which consists a heavy spinning rotor it resists any sense in the axis of the rotor one of the popular example of gyroscope is the spinning top this is the rotor spinning rotor and this is the mass and this rotor will continuously it will spin while it is spinning we will give some motion to this way clockwise or anti-clockwise and due to that this will move up and down so we will give this rotor speed we will put rotor speed and this pre this precision speed such a way so that while rotating this will balance means this pointer small pointer is there this pointer comes to this white mark this small pointer this pointer you have seen this pointer while rotating this will come in the the mark this white mark then it will rotate in balanced condition that is the gyroscopic effect gyroscopic <laughs> experiment so we will perform the experiment so before performing experiment 
I will set this mass distance from this point to some specific point here by measuring. So at what point I will put it, those things I will explain. Thank you. This is the main rotor which will spin. This diameter is 40 mm and this one is the mass. So mass and moment weight in 65.8 gram and in Newton it is 0.6454 Newton. So here, initially if this mass, we keep it in that adjacent point, up, lose it and we will put it here then, or will happen it will be in balance position. Balance means this whole system will be balance position, means this pointer will be at this point, in the middle. This pointer, this pointer, small pointer will be, this pointer will be in the middle. So, this is really balance position. So, from this balance position, we need to shift it at some specific distance, say 25 mm, 50 mm, 75 mm, 100 mm. So, now this distance is from this point to this point, this distance is 75 mm. At this condition, now whole this whole system is now unbalanced, as this pointer is not matching with this white mark. Now it is unbalanced. Now we will make it balance while giving the speed to this spinning wheel, spinning rotor and as well as we will give some precision speed. This is the precision speed. This clockwise and the will rotate like this. So we will, it will, everything is motorized. We will now do the actual experiment. We will rotate the rotor and also we will give precision speed so let's start for that we need to put this cover this is transparent cover perfect sheet cover we need to place it properly after that we need to go for actual test for that purpose we will give Precision speed as well as this is the precision speed. Now you see whole assembly is rotating. Also, now we will give rotor, rotor speed. This is the rotor speed will increase. We will increase the rotor speed. Rotor is rotating, speed is 5, 8.99. Suppose say 1500. Suppose say 2000 So rotor is, rotor is rotating As you have seen now while rotating this is unbalanced pointer is not in the center in that mark white mark so now we will give precision speed such a way so that we will increase precision speed such a way so that while rotating this system get balanced means this pointer will 
come to the white mark and rotate in balanced condition. Now we have seen whole system is it is in balance. So pointer it is exactly matching with this white mark. So this way we need to perform the experiments. We need to balance this gyroscopic couple and this gyroscopic effect. The gyroscopic this it is used for turning ship, pro propelling ship, taking while taking turn and other uh, aeroplane takes turn so those things take off landing these things the gyroscopic effect is used so now from this experiment it, it, this whole system is rotating in balance condition balance uniformly balanced condition so now we can see that precision speed is 36.1 precision is speed is 36.1 this is this is the precision speed whole systems are rotating this is the precision speed and this is rotor speed rotor speed is 3510 so rotor speed is this one this is spinning the rotor is spinning so Thing you have seen this rotor is spinning it is not clearly visible but this is rot rotor is rotating inside so this way you need to balance it at different precision speed either you can vary the precision speed or you can vary the rotor speed so every time you need to put different different rotor speed and precision speed and that way you need to rotate these systems in balanced condition so <coughs> and length also this moment of weight position also you, we can sense we can sense the different length 25 mm 50 mm 100 mm 75 mm so this way we can do the experiments and from after doing these experiments we need to do the test of the calculations by the data's formulas given by us it's provided in your manual so moment rotor speed known to us precision speed known to us we need to convert rotor speed in radian per second precision speed also we need to convert it in radian per second then the moment known to us 0.64545 newton for this experimental setup and distance from the balance position that will be very that will be now it is 75 mm distance from its balance position you, you can choose 50 mm also 25 mm also 100 mm also you can choose and then we will found the moment by multiplying moment of weight into distance then we will find the moment after that moment in newton meter we convert that from uh, millimeter to meter this distance we will convert from millimeter to meter and then we will multiply with moment of weight then we will find out the moment in newton meter and after getting that moment by using the formula theoretical and Experimentally, we have already we have got this rotor speed and precision speed. Now we will calculate by using the formula moment of rotor inertia. Rotor inertia <coughs> has I equal to m2 by theta 1 theta 2. Theta 1 is your rotor speed and theta 2 is your precision speed in radian second so 
that we need to do the do our calculation and from that the for inertia formula we will at this condition 75 mm as this is 75 mm distance so at this condition we will take 3 4 reading from the 3 4 reading we will find out the rotor inertia and then we will take the average rotor inertia so for this experiments average rotor inertia is generally up to 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 so this this way we can find out for different length and that that is the experiment so this experiment is over after that performing the experiments you need to do the rest of the report making calculations some errors <coughs> results equations everything you need to put in your report so thank you very much